What's up guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, today I want, I want us to discuss about uh, how to rotate, uh, align and uh, scale an object in Civo 3D. So I'm going to open up uh, this Civo 3D, the, my Civo 3D application and here I already have the object that I plotted. So I plotted this one from this survey plan. I actually plotted uh, the outer boundaries of this a particular survey plan because uh, what happened is that uh, uh, we actually consolidated or amalgamated all this uh, these plots into uh, one uh, block and then we also we then did a subdivision into into quarters so now this survey plan was actually sent to a physical planner and the physical planner did uh, did come up with this drawing and uh, we are going to use this drawing to align uh, to align to our our actual uh, datum the ones that we have uh, plotted using the uh, the real coordinates and then we are going to scale we are going to rotate and uh, align properly so that we can generate uh, accurate information for us to to go to the field and place so that you can go to the field and place the the beacons so this this is the uh this is what i received from the physical planner and uh i want to show you how to align this one to uh to my to our uh, datum here uh for accurate uh, information extraction process now uh Number one, what we need to do is I'm going to highlight uh, this drawing and then go to clipboard and copy and then transfer it to this other side. So right click and then uh, go to clipboard and then paste. Let's paste it somewhere here. And you can see the image, the drawing is actually too large for, for aligning and you can see that also uh, the the rotation is not uh, it's not accurate depend uh, in corresponding to this datum so what we need to do first of all let's uh, rotate this drawing so select everything and then type ro for rotate you can also uh, click on this uh, icon here but just let's use the command so you could, the command line so it says uh, choose the base point uh, we're going to use this uh, let me first of all deactivate the endpoint snapping select that as a base point and then uh, type r for reference and then click enter so it's going to tell you to specify the uh, angle so click that and then click the second point so the reason why we are going to use this side you can see that uh, this this line or this uh, point from this from this particular point here to this point that line correspond to this line here and that's what we're going to use to rotate the the drawing so let me repeat that again type r o and then uh, that choose that as the base and then type r the moment to click r and then click enter so uh, the next point is to specify the two points set so that the first point and this is the second point then uh, the next step is telling you to choose the new angle and then just type p for point or you can just click point and then click enter so uh, for this point we are going to now define uh, the angle based on this uh, datum of hours uh, so you can see this point here correspond to uh, this other one on the drawing that we received so we are going to choose this as the first point because this the because we selected this as the first point and then the second point is going to uh, to be can for which correspond to this other point here so uh, select can for here and then uh, you can now see the 
the object is now properly uh, rotated is now uh, you can see the bearing or the angle is the same as the datum uh, so the next step is to is to scale so that uh, it can be on the same size as the datum so again select the the object again and then type uh, sc for scale click enter uh, we are going to use opposite sides we are going to use two points and, and it is better to use instead of using uh, this only these other two sides we are going to use opposite side uh, for example we're going to select this point and then this other point so uh, and you can see these two points correspond to this point here and then this one here so we're going to start uh, so it's going telling me to specify the base point so that is click that to to uh, to specify that as at the base point and then uh, again type r for reference click enter uh, now it's telling you to to oh sorry guys uh, we are talking about uh, we are talking about scaling not to a line so again we are going to use the same point we are going to use this point here uh, this from this point to this point which correspond to uh, can 3 to can 4 on our data so sorry about that I was talking about I thought we are now moved to align to aligning the image the object so select it again and then say uh, SC to scale uh, so the, this is the base point we are going to select that and then type R uh, for reference and hit enter so it's going to tell you to specify the length select that point again the same base point and select uh, the distance you are going to specify on this drawing is up to that point and then uh, you can see on the desk on the uh, command line uh, it's telling you to specify the new length or select p so select p or you can just click points and then click enter so it's telling you to specify the first point and that first point should be on the datum so choose uh, can 3 because you selected this point as the first point so uh, click on can 3 and then this point here correspond to this uh, can 4 here on our datum so to click there and then you can if you zoom out now you can see our image has now been uh, scaled down properly uh, in respect to to our data so it's now time to move this data to to move this uh, drawing to our data here uh, so select again the object and then type align because you are aligning this object to to our data or basically to overlay uh, what we have here on our data to for us to have uh, the proper uh, or we can just say we are simply georeferencing this uh, object so again i'm going to use as i was saying in the the previously we're going to use this point here and this point as as our base points our or as our contro control points so you can see this point and this point uh correspond to this point nr 5x and can can four so as uh, let me select it again and then type a line hit enter so the first point we've said this this one here and then it correspond to this nrr 5x so the moment you click that it's telling you to again specify the second point uh, select that and can four and then click enter because you cannot use three points uh, in civil 3d and then uh, type w or click yes let's just click yes and then boom you can see now our object has properly been aligned uh, or it has been overlaid on this data so he, from here now you can now go ahead and generate uh, uh, 
you can now go ahead and generate your coordinates for example you want to get the coordinates of this particular point here uh, simply go to points and then to create points miscellaneous go to manual and then uh, make sure that you select intersection uh, on the snapping tool choose intersection and then uh, enter the name or the point description let's say uh, point one like so click enter uh, specify the elevation is zero click enter and it's telling you to go to the second point uh, we're not going to the second this is just an example uh, select the particular point go to uh, properties so that you can name you can show the name of that uh, description only you can see this is point one for you to generate uh, or to export the coordinates of this particular point go to uh, points uh, go to export import export select export you are going to export this point to uh, let's say here let's say you're going to choose uh, we call it point one coordinates like so and uh, click open click ok uh, if we now go to that uh, folder and try to open it uh, open the excel data you can now see that we have the coordinates of that particular point you can see it's called point one as we actually label it there is this is, uh, elevation which is which we specify as zero uh, this is easting this is nothing and this point id so uh, that's how you can actually uh, align and generate the coordinates of the uh, of uh, of your drawings or your drawing uh, from civil 3d so that's it for this uh, tutorial if you have any compliment you have complaint you have a question just let me know in the comment section below and uh, see you in the next tutorial